T-Rexes. Oh, I missed. Did you get one? No, I missed two. The Dino Master! You're right, he's right there. No, 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 no. Oh. oh, man! He's effed it with his disappearing ray gun. Oh, wait, there he is. T-Rex, run! Oh, oh no, Andrea, hurry up! Oh, no! Okay, here we are at our cabin in the woods. Where's the light switch? Oh, here it is, right here. Oh. Hey, man, this is a pretty nice place you found, huh? Yeah. Awesome, okay. Ooh, oh God. Good thing we got these eggs at Gulliver's, huh? These hybrid yeah. dinosaur eggs. Man, good thing the Dino Master didn't get these girls. Yeah, that would have been terrible if he hadn't disappeared and he'd gotten these instead. We yeah. really need to examine and see what kind of hybrid DNA he put in these bad boys, huh? Huh? Except, you know, it's kind of late to be examining dino eggs right now. What are we gonna do with them? Because we can't let them hatch while we're asleep. Idea. Idea what? What if we put the dino eggs in the refrigerator? Oh, yeah, the refrigerator. That's a good idea. Okay, let's go over and check out their fridge then, okay. huh? Okay, wait. Hey, you think it's in here? Yeah, it's in here. Okay. Oh. oh, there's the fridge. Okay, put these bad boys inside. Yeah. All right, and they'll stay oh. nice and chill all night. Yeah. Then, huh? Okay, there you go. Good night. Nighty night. Little dinosaurs. Man, I'm excited about tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Awesome. Okay, we need a good rest. You head off upstairs. I'm gonna go check out this room, go to sleep, okay? okay. See you in the morning. Good night, Park Ranger Aaron. Good night, Park Ranger OB. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Oh, wow. Hey, Park Ranger OB. Something's Ooh. wrong with the power, man. The lights won't come on. Huh? Power? Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Oh, man. Ooh, Wait fire. a minute. The fridge door's open. The fridge? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The power went out and the fridge failed. And that egg's hatched. Oh, no. What are we going to do? You know what that means? There's two hybrid T-Rex dinosaurs running around here somewhere. Oh, man. Okay. We better get out there and find them, okay? Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look. Breadcrumbs! Breadcrumbs? Where did it go? <gasps> it's a trail outside the door. <laughs> ah, the T-Rex has slipped up. They left a trail of breadcrumbs. Okay, let's grab our sleeping art blasters okay. and let's go follow the trail. Away. Oh man, you can save breakfast for later. Get your sleeping art blaster. Let's go, dude. Okay. Ooh, here we go. There's the trail of breadcrumbs. Goes off that way, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, get your sleeping art blaster ready. Okay, let's go. You lead the way. Okay. Wait, oh yeah. man. Yeah, you can lead the way today. It's Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, let's go. All right, here we go. Ooh, looky here. <gasps> the trail breadcrumb stops. Yeah. Which way do you think we should go? That way. Okay, let's go. It seems my hybrid dinosaurs have hatched. I will let the park rangers do the hard work and catch them. Any sign? The T-Rexes? Whoa! Oh, close one, man. So close. Look out, okay. Yeah, almost got a sleepy dart there. Anyway, what's that up there? Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that all right. Okay. You see that right up there? Yeah. Come on, let's go check it out. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Right here. It's right here. You see that? Yeah. Some large creature came through here and broke that off. Right. Yeah. That sounded like a small farm animal. It did. You know what that means? T Rex lunchtime. Let's go. Come on. Wait, that's a bad thing. Hey. hey! Look over there, huh? Yeah! It's Billy the Ram! Billy no. the Ram? Like, oops! Oh, yeah, 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 like a sheep. 
Yeah. You know what? I call that T-Rex lunch, huh? Yeah. Okay, so I'll bet if we wait here long enough, those two T-Rexes, they'll come right up for lunch, and we'll be waiting with our sleepy dart blasters, and we'll get them, okay? Yeah. Okay, hey, okay, let's hide back here, okay? So that makes sense. Okay. Oh yeah, here we go, there we go. All right, you see the sheep over there? Yeah. All right. I think we can watch and see the T-Rex has come for lunch and they're gonna get a big surprise. Walk him. There they are. You ready? Yeah. Let's go get them. Come on. Take this, T-Rexes. Oh, I missed. Did you get one? No, I missed two. Okay. Oh, I missed. Oh, oh, get another sleepy dog. Hurry, hurry. Oh, man. The T-Rex has got away. Oh, man. I know they're going over there. Hey, hey, but you know what? What? They're going right down that trail. I think if we go this way, we can cut them off. Come on, let's go. Come off the pass. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, oh, Park Ranger will be. Oh, oh, man, he wiped out. Okay. Ooh. I don't see him. Where'd they go? Oh. The T-Rexes are gone, dude. Oh, Ranger, I'm coming. Okay, be on the lookout. Hey, look. Hey, it's like a little pond, isn't it? Wait a minute, T-Rex. It is, right there. Yeah. Oh, we just hid in the bushes there. Okay, wait a minute. That's an island. How did it get on an island? I have no clue. Maybe it walked in the water. And how did it get so big so quick? I don't know. It's like that one back at Gulliver's. It just gets huge. Yeah. Okay, we've got to figure out some way to get out to that island. And blast it, okay? Let's look around for something. Ooh la la, booba boat. What? Boat. A boat? Flippy, flippy hey. time. Oh. Whoa, 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 there we go, okay. I'm strong. Something's telling me this is not a good idea. Something tells me this is a good idea. Okay, you stay here on the shore. And then I'll float out there, okay. and I'll blast it when I get close enough, okay? Okay. All right, get aside there. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. okay oh, okay. this is heavy. Yeah, yeah, okay, here we go. Don't drop it. Oh. Okay. The moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, is it float? Yeah, it floats. Ha-ha. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go in there now. I'm okay. going to go get this. T-Rex. Careful, Parker and Jaren. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, I got the boat. All right. Where's the oar? Oh, right here. Oh, wait. Is that an oar? Yeah. It doesn't look like an oar to me. Oh, it's just a big stick. Here I you go. This have to work. There we go. And you're off. Here we go. I'm gonna go get the T-Rex. Okay, hurry up, Parker and Jaren. It's taking all day, man. I know. It's been like three hours. It's not exactly an oar. Okay, do you see it, Parker and Jaren? No. Wait. Wait a minute. Is that it? Uh, yeah, I see it. It's right there. It looks like they have found one of my dinosaurs. It is time to collect him. The Dino Master. You're right. He's right there. No, no, no. no. Oh, man! He zapped it with his disappearing ray gun. He got the dinosaur. Man. Come on, we gotta get out of here. We gotta catch the Dino Master. Okay, I'm coming back. Hurry, come on, Park Ranger Aaron. I'm trying. Here, pull me back into shore. There we go, pull. Pull. I hey, where's the Sigma G when you need him? There we go. Okay, hold it. Oh, no, 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 I'm going back in. <laughs> No, no, that's good, that's good, that's good. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Oh, no, 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 no. Why are you so heavy? There. Okay, I got it. Okay. You can let go now. I got it. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Oh, man. Come on. We do get the Dino Master. Wait, did it flood? Come on, let's go get the Dino Master. Okay. Come on. Just wait. Get your sister back. Come on, let's go. Wait, stop, stop, stop. Whoa, whoa, Parker and Jerry. What, what? I see something over there. Here, let me over see there. the binoculars. Binoculars, okay. Yeah. Here you go. Here's the binoculars. Wait, did we get new ones? Oh, these are the ones that we have when we're in England, okay? Oh, there you go. Okay. Give those bad boys a try. Okay, what do you Ooh. see? I see something red with Ooh. a mouth and a nose. You think it's the T Rex? Yeah, the 
T-Red. Okay, I'll tell you what. Here you go. You keep an eye on me with the binoculars. Uh, okay. Okay, and keep me covered. I'm gonna go up that hill, and I'm gonna find out what it is, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, keep it covered. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, stay here. Okay, you keep an eye on me, Park Ranger OB, okay? Yeah. Oh, right. oops. Ugh. Wait, where did he go? Let's see where they are. Oh, wait, there he is. T Rex, run! Oh no, Park Ranger, hurry up! Oh no! T Rex! Park Ranger OB, T Rex, get out of here! Ah, yes, they have found my second hybrid dinosaur. Ah! Oh, Ruby, die! Whoa! Oh, hide, hide, hide! There's, wait a minute. It's the Dino Master. Yeah. He's back! Yeah! And he just disappeared the T-Rex. Yeah, just like it. Go over Wait, let's go get him. Come on. Time for me to leave. Get the Dino Master! Oh. He just disappeared again. Man! Man, the Dino Master's always getting away from us. And he took his hybrid dinosaurs with him. Yeah! Okay, we gotta find some plan to capture this guy. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go back to Dino HQ and we'll figure something yeah. out. Yeah, we also need one of those flashlight things, you know? Oh, yeah. that he Blaster has. things, yeah. No, but we better find her before someone else does, or they'll know that dinos still exist. Oh, maybe she wasn't there. Oh yeah, maybe. It's so dark in here. I can't see anything. Where'd she go? We should split up. You go that way, and I'll head this way. If you find her, you might need this. Yeah, what is the magnifying glass, binoculars, leash. Wait. It's your favorite snack. It is? Yeah. Can't see why, but okay. But I left you over there. It's a loop. A loop? Yeah, it just goes around and around. It all connects. All right, that makes sense. But where in a wide world of dino fossils are we? That's what I'm thinking. Hi, welcome to the Alf Museum of Paleontology. I'm Gabe, a paleontologist. Do you want me to show you around? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, sure. We want to look around with no ulterior motives whatsoever. All right, cool. So, here at the ALF Museum, we talk about the great story of life on Earth. And that story is set into many different chapters. Here in the Precambrian, life wasn't as great. It wasn't a great environment for things to appear. But during this chapter in the Paleozoic, that's when we had the big explosion of life on Earth. And some of the first characters to appear in that story are things like this. This is Isotelus rex, and it is the most complete trilobite ever discovered by scientists. Over here, we have Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon might look like a dinosaur, but it's not. It is actually an ancient distant relative of mammals like us. Dimetrodon's not a dinosaur. Would we have a T-Rex ranch? Shh. Did you hear that? I think so. Oh, uh, that's me clicking my, my pen. <laughs> he does that. Uh, shall we move on? Sneaker. My lamps are wide open. <gasps> wow, the age of the dinosaur. And speaking of dinosaurs, we have one right here. This is Gryposaurus. Gryposaurus is a holotype. A holotype is the first of its kind ever described by science. 
This one is about 75 million years old and it was found in Utah. And here's a baby Parasaurolophus. <laughs> baby Parasaurolophus? <laughs> I haven't seen a baby Parasaurolophus. Have you seen a baby Parasaurolophus? No, never in my life. What would you ask? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm talking about Joe, our complete baby Parasaurolophus fossil. Oh, right. That Parasaurolophus. That makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah, well, Joe's really cool because Joe's crest is actually part of its nose. When it blows air through its nose, it makes a sound like a trumpet. Interesting. Okay, well, how about we check out more dinosaurs? Sure! And this here is the Tyrannosaurus rex. Its name means Tyrant Lizard King, and it was the apex predator 65 million years ago. What's really cool is that they regrew their teeth through their whole life, so they always had sharp teeth. We are very familiar with the T-Rex. Okay, well, do you want to check out my favorite era at the Cenozoic? Of course, to look why at here. All right, come on. Any baby Parasaurolophus is hiding in here? Well, not unless they're invisible. And over here are one of my favorite fossils. This is a bronothere. Bronothere means thunder beast, and they might look like rhinos, but they're actually a close relative. Instead of a horn like rhinos have, they have these bony plates on their nose. Pretty interesting. Um, they're kind of herbivore, but do you want to see a Cenozoic carnivore? Sure. Uh -huh. All right, let's head that way. Okay. Whoa, a giant alligator! Yeah, this is Porosaurus. It's a giant crocodile that existed in Brazil about 7 million years ago. And what's really cool about it is, is, is that they had these sharp teeth that they regrew through their whole life. Andy, cut it out! Not a good time! Uh... Uh... uh if we yeah, wandered a museum on our own, it's very really interesting, sure. but we'd like to go check out some yeah. stuff on our own. Thank you so much! Yes. Of... Whoa, look at all these exhibits! Oh, man, if there's a place for her to sneak around, this is a good place to do it. Yeah. A lot of places for, to hide. Good for her. Bad for us. Oh, that's true. Okay. Here, baby dino! Here, baby dino! Baby, baby! If I was a baby parasaurolophus, where would I be? It's only a skeleton of a bear dog. They're nearly seven feet long with sharp wolf-like teeth. They're carnivores and they have a bear-shaped body and claws. Well, that's very terrifying. Did you hear that? Yeah, I think that's our baby dino. Keep him over there. I'll go first. Go ahead. In a dino pig. What a mess! Someone or some dino has been rummaging through here. Oh, we're never gonna find her! Parker and Randy, let's think about this. How do you catch a dinosaur named Sneaka? By being sneakier than Sneaka is. Right you are, Parker and Andy. And what did we just learn about Parasaurolophus? Their crests are actually long noses capable of making different sounds depending on how they're shaped. So what if instead of chasing her, we called Sneaka to us? By using the noise that she would make. Exactly! <laughs> no, 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 not you using the Parasaurolophus sound boxes! I mean, I guess we could do that too. Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> One, two, three! Not there. Do it again. One, two, three! Look! Yeah! Oh! Here! Yeah! Oh, here you go, Sneaker! Here you go! Sneak up on and have some of this delicious stick!
you have any questions about our Parasaurolophus soundbox? Uh, I don't think so. Seems to work perfectly as intended. Previously on T-Rex Ranch. But we shouldn't bother Orson while he's on vacation. Our golden dino egg isn't hatching, and we're wondering if there's actually a baby dino inside. Or if it's one of your tricks again. If you place an egg at the center of the mystical dino spiral, a full-grown dinosaur will appear inside the egg. Sounds easy enough. You say that, but first you must complete three trials. Cross the lake of fire, bow to the Patinosaurus Guardian, win a stare contest with the Stegosaurus. <laughs> this is the cutest one yet! Oh. M. Goodness. I can't believe the lake of fire is real. And the bridge is gone! What do we do? Lava's not in the Park Ranger handbook. First off, we don't panic. Let's put on our thinking caps. I just need them to walk over the lava. You've got anything. You can't be too careful about the lava. <gasps> I did it! I figured it out! You did? The lava's not real, just like at the ranger station. It's just another one of Dynamaster's tricks. Asher, I don't know if this is a good idea. Trust me. Nice work, Park Ranger! Told ya! <laughs> yeah, and here's something I don't say very often. You were right. Oh, I'm so glad to be in headquarters. <laughs> you said it. All I know is I'm gonna have a word with the Dino Master next time I see him. And what word will that be, Park Ranger Bella? I'm very curious. Lava. Yes, of course. Well, nobody's in fuego, so I'm guessing you've all passed my lake of fire. But who figured out that little puzzle? I did. Well done, Park Ranger Asher. Clever and brave. It's a rare combination. What do you want, Dino Master? Oh, you know, chaos, confusion. A decent grocery store cookie, the same as everyone else. But mostly, my precious baby Triceratops and your backpack. No way. Besides, you're just a hologram. You can't even do anything. Fair point. I personally can't take the baby try off your hands because I'm banned from T Rex Ranch. But I've sent someone who can. Go ahead, Park Rangers. It'll be a fun surprise. Rangers, meet my latest and greatest invention, the secret autonomous machine. I call her Sam for short. Oh, and do me a favor, don't pull her finger. <laughs> Ew, nothing gross. Wait, are you saying that she's a robot? Ding, ding, ding. Tell her what she's won, Sam. You have one hour to hand over the baby Triceratops, or I am going to self-destruct. day for a walk, isn't it, friends? Come on now, single file line, please. All right, that's back. May I have your baby Triceratops now? I have to bring her back to the Dino Master. If he's already in the bag, you can just hand it to me and I'll be on my way. All right, no rush.
rushing, no pushing. <laughs> Who do we have here? I'm Sam. She's a robot. A secret autonomous machine. Sent by the Dino Master. To steal our baby Tri. Or else she'll self-destruct. In 45 minutes. <laughs> oh, you believe her. Look, Sam, we know you're not a robot, and I don't know how you got mixed up with the Dino Master, but we're gonna lead you to the gate and say our goodbyes now. How do you know I'm not a robot? Yeah, how do you know? Because no one can make a robot that looks and acts like a kid. Robots nowadays look like dogs and dance to Motown. What if I proved it to you? Sure, why not? See that big rock? I'm going to run there and back as fast as I can. Whenever you're ready. That was amazing. Can you go even faster? If I want to. Look, that was uh, very speedy, and I sure hope you're part of a local track and field club, but... Uh, what is that? For the sound of the falls? A T-Rex. Definitely a T-Rex. Which means we should probably get out of here. I can't tell where she's coming from. My adrenaline levels are in the red. This is very exciting. Do you think she's hungry? Are you hungry? Uh-huh. Ow! You bit me! That's a sharp little beak you've got there. Are you okay? Some sort of a gadget or a blaster you can use? Yes, I do. You have an onboard dino freeze ray. That's amazing. Okay, now I believe Sam's a robot. Good, because you have 23 minutes left before I go. All right, Sam, have a seat. Sure, but there are 30 seconds left before I go boom, unless you give me that baby dino to take back to the Dino Master. And just so you don't forget, I will activate a terrifying alarm. Terrifying alarm. Terrifying alarm. Terrifying alarm. Hey, little one. Terrifying alarm. Terrifying alarm. What happened? <gasps> That's why the Dino Master said to not pull her finger, because then she'll shut down. Normally, I'd say avoid pulling anyone's finger, but in this case, I'd say it was the right decision. But the Dino Master's going to be wondering why Sam isn't back yet. She has to have some sort of control panel. Found it. I can do a reboot or a full factory reset and set her to Dino Master's henchman, Robo Girl, or Real Girl. How about Real Girl? I will miss her eyeball lasers. Wait, what? Tell you later. Here goes nothing. Hi, I'm Sam. Hi, Sam. I'm Maisie. This is Asher, Orson, and Bella. And we are the T-Rex Ranch Park Rangers. Nice to meet you all. Uh, did I say my name was Sam? Yeah. Good. I can be very forgetful. Hello again, Park Rangers. I assume Sam is on her way with... Sam? What are you still doing there? Do I found my baby Triceratops? Who's the dude in the cape? That's the Dino Master. He's our bad guy. No! You've turned my creation against me. What's a guy gonna do to catch a break around here? Come on, it's getting ridiculous. He's very dramatic. Oscar winning. Okay, Sam, you're a secret autonomous machine who no longer has to report to the Dino Master. So the question is, 
What do you want to do? Can I stay here? I like your uniforms. It looks good on you. Thanks. How do you feel? I feel like I've had a very long day. Do you ever feel like that? Boy, have we. Okay, let's see here. Flashlight. Check. Whoopee cushion. Check. Donuts. Check. Of course. Dino remote control. Andy, did you bring the dino remote control? Yeah, I'm sure I brought it. No, I think you should go back to the RV and check. Fine. We may need it. Making Andy mad. Check. What's up for the Donut drink anyway. Donut drink, sure. But don't forget the dino remote control! Donut drink. Get my dino drink and AJ's dino remote control. What are you coming here for? Dino remote control! Alright! Dino remote control. Dino remote. Let's see. Uh. <laughs> That's not it, but we could use it. Ooh. Extra, just in case. Dino remote. Dino remote. Dino remote. Where would I be? Dino remote. That is not you. Oh, that's it. Oh, perfect. Oh. Donut drink. Dino dinner. <laughs> More like Andy's lunch. Wow, that's delicious! <laughs> Back to work. Dino remote, I got the dino remote. <laughs> Look what I found! Your dino remote that we're probably not gonna use. Let's go. Uh, you look a little green there, Park Ranger. Are you feeling okay? Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm not sure about that donut drink. Donut drink? Park Ranger Andy, that was Dino DNA! Dino DNA what? Dino DNA! One sip will turn you into a dinosaur! How much did you drink? Uh, the whole beaker? The whole thing? Why would you even drink anything from a beaker? I was parched from all those donuts! I was afraid of that. The dino reversal serum is our only hope. If you don't drink the serum in the next five minutes, you'll stay a dino forever. Huh, well, we better go. Stay right here. I'm going to be right back with the serum. <laughs> The serum! Okay, the serum, serum. If I was serum, where would I be? Yeah, I don't know.
Control. Now, where was it? <laughs> Look what I found! Your dino remote that we're probably not gonna use. Let's go. That's it! If I can make it back to the T-Rex 1, I can grab the remote control and use it to rewind Andyosaurus back to before he drank the dinosaur DNA! He doesn't see me. Mystery drinks. Oh, okay, okay, give it to me. Give it to me. Oh. Oh, it's a good thing we caught it before it turned into a dinosaur. Yeah, definitely good thing. You know, Park Ranger, we learned a valuable lesson today. Always be prepared. And let this be another Park Ranger lesson. Never drink mysterious liquids out of mysterious containers. You said it. Lesson learned. You know, we never tested that serum before. I'm glad it worked. Oh yeah, it worked perfectly. Uh, I feel like a vampire. I proudly present my latest invention, the Veggie Fixer 6000. Uh, that's not the invention we need. We, we need a fan or an air conditioner or a fan with an air conditioner on it or an air conditioner with a fan in it to boost cold air to an air conditioned fan. Actually, we do need it, because now rappers will only eat fried chicken. Yeah, ever since they stole our fried chicken from our last picnic. Can't really blame them, though. True, 
but it's not very good for you, which is why you use the veggie fixer to make them healthy again. Demonstrate. First, you grab your broccoli, place it into here, turn the knob, and then press the button. Voila! Fried chicken. Well, how be? Ugh. Smells like broccoli. Well, it looks like fried chicken, which means the raptor will eat it before they knew they had a healthy meal. Uh, even I wouldn't fall for that, and I have the world's record for gullibility. Well, at least that's what they tell me. Actually, uh, I think you should go back to Dino HQ and watch the baby dinos. I can finish this on my own. Good plan. I am most helpful when I'm not around to help. See you later. It does smell like broccoli. Oh, it's so hot out there. If it gets any hotter, I'm a scream. 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 No, I scream. What a brilliant idea. I scream. Let's see. Oh, nothing better on a hot day than a good old-fashioned bowl of ice cream. Ooh, looks delicious. <laughs> oh, hi, Sneaker. You want some ice cream, too? I'm not sure I should give a baby dino ice cream. What would Park Ranger Asher say? Don't give baby dinos ice cream. Yeah, I don't like that answer either. Let me try to imagine it again. Go ahead, give the baby dino ice cream. Eh, that's much better. Hey, that's not what it said. Uh, no time to argue, gotta go ice cream melting. <laughs> okay, Sneaker, let me get you some ice cream. Raptor's approaching the food. He's taking it. No, he's not. He's smelling something else. And he's running away. Gosh, something else caught his attention. Wonder what? This is a scoop of ice cream. Delicious. Fresh and clean. I'm coming, I'm coming. Almost done. Put the lid on. Put the ice cream back in the freezer. Here we go. A nice bowl of ice cream. Hey, who ate the ice cream? Did you eat the ice cream? No, you couldn't get up there. Huh, is it possible I ate it and I don't remember? Seems possible to me. Hmm. Well, if I ate it and I don't remember, then it doesn't count. Time for more ice cream. Here we go, here we go, here we go! And there we went. Oh, 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 look at this. This is a scoop of ice cream. Delicious. Oh, it's gonna be so good, I hope I remember eating it this time. Woohoo! Perfect. Put a little spoon in and, you know, could really use some sprinkles. Oh, why don't I carry sprinkles on me? All right, next time, I'll put that on the list. <laughs> and... What the? Now I know I did not eat that bowl of ice cream. Did I? Hey, did you eat the ice cream in that bowl? How? I'm in your imagination. Hey, I'm not accusing, I'm just asking. Just get more ice cream. That's the best idea you had all day. At least you're not trying to talk me into eating that broccoli fried chicken like you are those raptors. No, there's no signs of raptors at all. Maybe Park Ranger Andy was right. Maybe it's not too hot to do it today. Where could they possibly be going?
Michael? Not even that one. We have an ice cream eater around here somewhere. Oh. Who is eating all of my ice cream? Can I for me? so soon. Yeah, the raptors wouldn't eat any of my broccoli fried chicken. Probably because it's so hot. It is, but is it hot enough to steal a baby dino's ice cream? What are you talking about? Let me smell your breath. Does it smell like ice cream? That's because I didn't have any. Does it make sense? Look, I come over here and I take an empty bowl. And I bring the empty bowl to the freezer. And I take out the ice cream. Put the ice cream down on the counter. And I take the ice cream scoop. And I scoop us some ice cream. Ooh, look at that ice cream. I don't lick the spoon, even though I really want to. Fill up the bowl. And then put the lid back on the ice cream. And I put it back. And now I have my delicious bowl of ice cream, and I walk it over to the table, and look, the ice cream's gone! What? It's just gone? Like that? It's just like that! Who is stealing all our ice cream? I'm not so sure. That means we have to solve this problem scientifically. Does that involve eating ice cream? No, but it does include bait and observing, just like I did with the raptors and my Veggie Fixer 6000. That's not as fun as eating ice cream. First of all, we need more ice cream. Way ahead of you. Hey, ice cream service. That's your service. Hey, hey, thanks a lot, my friend. Good to see ya. You think that's safe? Getting a delivery guy to a secret ranch? Did you see that guy's face? Look trustworthy to me. If you say so. Now. For step one, set the trap. Step two, hide and watch. Mm, I would love an ice cream sundae. Huh, but today's Friday. So? So if you want ice cream sundae, you gotta wait two more days. How about we just observe in silence? It's an ice cream asaurus! That's why they're not eating from my invention, because you stuffed them with ice cream. And they didn't even thank me. How many of them you think there are? Let's look! Let's go! Maybe we should just give them ice cream. Maybe you're right. But now we're out of ice cream. Way ahead of ya. Ice cream delivery. Five minutes or it's free. Here you go. Thank you. My pleasure. And by the way, you got a lot of raptors out here. Uh, you trust that delivery guy? He looks honest to me. Now, how about some ice cream? Here you go. <laughs> Are you sure it's okay to get baby dinos ice cream? Well, if it's okay for raptors, then it's probably okay for a baby Parasaurolophus. Eat up. That's it. I'll use the Veggie Face for 6,000, but change broccoli into ice cream. I knew you'd figure it out. Now can we please eat our ice cream? I've been waiting for this all day. Sure, I'm excited for ice cream too. Hey, what about me? 
Yeah, what about him? And get me some too, please. Park Ranger White to Dino HQ. Help, I repeat, help. 43 minutes earlier. Good hustle, Park Ranger Wyatt. Thanks, Park Ranger Orson. Capturing a flag with raptors is terrifying. Oh, I know, but you're doing great. All right, so, Team Raptor's ahead by one point, but you got this. Really? Of course. And sure, the Raptors have a slight advantage, what with their incredible leg strength and super speed. But Park Rangers have one big advantage. We do. Of course. Park Rangers never give up. I prefer super speed. Lullabies and ten bottles. Eleven. At least they're finally asleep. Sorry, so sorry. I'll pick up all the bottles. And fill them back up with milk. Well, why is having a more exciting day? All right, here's the game plan. While I draw out the raptors, you go in there like you own the place and capture that flag. Um, okay. If things get hairy, just give me the signal and I'll turn on this personal electro fence to keep you safe. Wanna see? Whoa. Awesome! Can we keep it on the whole time? Suit yourself. you that. So come over here. I got a few rules I forgot to tell you. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Over this way. Do not look behind you at all. No, no. Come here. Keep going. That's right. All right. Got it. That's what I like to see. Over here. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Don't look behind you.
want is for you and Park Ranger Orson to have a fun day at the T-Rex Ranch. We were having plenty of fun before you showed up. Yes, I get that a lot, but you guys seem like you would need a little bit of a challenge. And what better challenge than a friendly game of hide and seek? Hide and seek? Please. That game is for babies. Too many babies. Let's think about this logically. Babies cry for a reason, right? I know. I just wish I knew what they were saying. Maybe we can't find out what they're saying. Yoo-hoo, Alexa. Yes, Park Ranger Asher? Translate baby dino cries. Translating. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Hungry? But they drank a gallon of milk each. Alexa. Yes. Are you sure? Translating. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Poop. Oh. They just need to go potty. They already did! Yeah. Oh, please, Park Rangers. It's more than a game of just hide and seek. And my version, there's more seeking for a new dino egg. I'll even help you two out. As you get closer to the egg, I'll say hurt. And as you get farther away, I'll say hold. Now, Bridget, classic misdirect. <laughs> he is very dramatic. So can we play? Please? I'm on record saying this is a bad idea. Yes! Come on. Chili. Bridget. Ice cold. Lukewarm. Warmish. Hot. Boiling. Fire. Goodbye, Park Rangers. Don't get burned. <laughs> Over here. Well, I'll be a dino's uncle. The dino master led us to an egg. More like hide and sneak, am I right? Good luck getting out now. Sincerely, the dino master. <laughs> At least he's polite. What does he mean by good luck getting out? The electromagnetic fence isn't working. The Dynamaster must have let us outside the useful gadget perimeter. Park Ranger White to Dino HQ. Help! I repeat, help! This is Park Ranger Asher. Come in! Sure, none of our gadgets work and we got a couple of raptors all up in our business. <gasps> I think I can help. On it. You, Rexa, translate this. Translating. Flag, flag, flag. Flag? That's weird. I'm sorry, Wyatt. Arexa translated the raptor grouse into flag, flag. I guess her translator doesn't work very well. Actually, I think she translated perfectly. Thanks, Park Ranger Asher. Over and out. She thinks we're still playing. Well done, Park Ranger.
Looks like the Raptors won after all. But you, my friend, never gave up. For that reason, I present to you the Raptor Captor Park Ranger Achievement Badge. Thanks. Is there a hide and seek badge too? Don't push it, Park Ranger. <laughs> I don't think that's one of ours. That's because we're not in T-Rex Ranch. Where are we? We're at the Harupa Mountains Discovery Center. I bet there's more dinos inside. Let's, Let's go, go discover. discover. Hey, AJ, are you familiar with the legend of the Harupa Mountain Mammoth? No, what is it? They say a mammoth named Eddie guards this very valley and brings luck to anyone who finds him. Should we go look? Yeah! Yeah, let's go! Dino challenge, which one? Oh, please, my Ceratops. What's this one? Pterodactyl or Pteranodon. Looks like he had a rough night. Dimetrodon. <laughs> Ankylosaurus! Pretty good. Taurosaurus, Triceratops, Pachyrhinosaurus. Impressed. Camelosaurus. Camelosaurus? That doesn't seem right. Sounds Greek. Not a Greek dinosaur. Hey, you know, AJ, if we're gonna look for Eddie, we need to know what to look for. Good point. Hmm. Maybe that guy will help us. Oh yeah, he looks smart. Let's go. Hi, I'm Park Ranger AJ. Nice to meet you. Park Ranger Andy. Hello, I'm Dino Dave. Dino Dave? That's our kind of guy. Yeah. Welcome to the Harupa Mountains Discovery Center. Right now, we're in front of our Earth Science Museum. Inside, we have some fossils through time. You guys excited to see some fossils? Yeah! yeah. Well, let's go. Great. Whoa. Look at all this stuff. I don't know where to begin. I do. Follow me. So let's begin in the depths of our ocean. Here, on to your right, we have ammonites. They were these squids that lived inside these shells. Now they lived amongst, well, fish and other aquatic life, like you see here on our fish wall. Cool! Stuck in the Green River formation, within these sediment layers, we can uncover a lot of evidence of these living organisms. How do you find fossils? Well, you just gotta survey the land and dig throughout the sediment layers and be extra careful. Fossils are very fragile. So these are found on land where the oceans used to be? Either used to be or were pushed onto land. What, what's that? Well, that is a head of a fish that grew up 20 to 25 feet long. <gasps> Need to find that in a swimming pool. <gasps> Welcome to the Botanical Gardens. Good point. Now here we have the California Choya, also known as the jumping cactus. Whoa. Tell us about it. Well, these little barbs are so hooked at a microscopic level that even a tiny brush could just really hook into you. Okay. I'm gonna back away now. Oh, well, we go see some other cactuses, right? Good idea. And we have things that are more terrestrial, things that kind of like to walk their way onto land. Is that a turtle? That is. This is a protostega. It's kind of like an aquatic sea turtle, or an ancient kind, if you want to think of it that way. Kind of neat, huh? Yeah. Well, you can find all sorts of remains of living critters. 
Like, oh, what's that? Oh, that there, that's dinosaur poop. Fossilized dino poop? Yes, fossilized poop. You know, you can find a lot of information about dinosaur poop. Usually the color in the fossilized poop can tell you if it's a protein diet or a plant diet. How do you tell that? Well, we know that meat's kind of red with iron. Well, if you look into the copper light here or the fossilized poop, you can see a little bit of red going on. So a lot of these are remains of carnivorous dinosaurs. How are fossils formed? When organic matter is buried and protected underneath the sediment layers, the minerals in the surrounding sediment kind of seep in with the help of water. So as the organic material leaves its body and gets recycled into the environment, the minerals take its place. What's this thing? Well, that kind of looks like a cluster of raptor and bone. Paleontologists have to dig out each digit and each bone very carefully in order to well, showcase it here in a museum. Cool. Yeah, here's Protoceratops stuck within its matrix. We can lean on over to meat-eating dinosaurs, such an Allosaurus, a three-claw predator. We're familiar. <laughs> yeah. This is cool. And this is our Allosaurus. Well, you gotta dig for it. Dig for it? Yes, dig for it. Under this sand, we speculate there's an entire Allosaurus skeleton. We're gonna uncover it using these tools. Cool! Whoa, teeth! Whoa! Yeah, these teeth belong to an Allosaurus. Whoa, I think we found the head! As long as you keep pulling towards you, we can uncover large bodies of it. Did you find something, AJ? Yeah! Looks like we found some ribs over here. Oh, good, I'm starving. The Park Ranger AJ, what do you think this is? I don't know, maybe the hip? Come check it out. If this is the hip, there must be legs. I think you're right, Park Ranger AJ. You gotta I uncover think you're right. it. I found another part of the rib cage. Well done, Park Ranger AJ. Thanks, Park Ranger Andy. Oh, another oh. piece. There's a lot here. Another. Sure does look like an Allosaurus. We know. Gotta be very gentle when you're getting this close, huh? Yeah. This is the most fun I've had in a long time. I love discovering things. Woo! Success! Success! Well, actually, we're only about 25% done here. 25%? That would be at least a quarter done. And leading out of the dinosaur era, we get the Pleistocene or the Ice Age era, the rise of mammals, like this cave bear, for example. And we have mastodons, or Columbian and woolly mammoths. Here is a tusk we found here in the Harupa Valley. Marvelous thing, very splintery, but as you can see, still preserved within the cast mold in which it was dug. The Columbian mammoth, most notable here, is called Edward. And this is Edward's tusk. Now, Edward is a Colombian species, so he traveled all the way North America, all the way down here to the Harupa Valley. So they roam this very valley? Yes. And if you keep your eyes peeled, you might just see one here at the Discovery Center. <gasps> that old Dave said if we look hard enough, we can find a mammoth. Well, then we gotta look harder. Yeah. Park Ranger AJ! Park Ranger AJ! Where is that kid? So, uh, what do you know about mammoths, AJ? Well, I know they're the ancestors of elephants, and they're two stories tall, and that's all I know. Yeah, it's good enough for now.
What's that in the background? <gasps> Look! A mammoth! Is that the mammoth? <gasps> Let's go see! We made it! There he is, Eddie the Colombian Mammoth! Awesome! For a pretty awesome day. You said it. Well, I guess this is the end. <laughs> no, this is the end. Our <laughs> Name this one, Park Ranger. All right, you got me. Abraham Lincoln and Soho Rise. I don't see it. There you are. 37 minutes earlier. I don't think he's gonna like those extra exclamation points. But it's not every day you get to celebrate someone's birthday. What if you know 365 people with different birthdays? Good point. And it means you'll never have to buy cake again. Speaking of cakes. It's supposed to be a Dimetrodon, which is Rosen's favorite dinosaur. But I don't think the guy at the grocery store knew what that was. He's gonna love it, Park Ranger. Almost as much as his Park Ranger birthday badge. Last but not least, what will probably be his favorite birthday gift of all time? He may look like he's crying, but I think he's secretly happy. Between you and me, I think he really loves those baby dinos, even if he doesn't know how to show it. <laughs> wow, what a cute little baby you are. And you too. Aw, aren't you just the sweetest little sugar dinos in the whole wide ranch? Aw, aren't you just the cutest little sugar baby? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> That's all right. Bath day. It's whenever I want it to be. <laughs> I just finished inventory on all our tech. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Uh, I don't know. Park Ranger Asher, I need you to watch those two babies while I check on that egg. Sure thing, Park Ranger Orson. Baby's coming. Percy's infernal soapy hands. Uh, let me hold that for you. This is Park Ranger Orson to all Park Rangers. Come in. Yes, Park Ranger Orson? Where'd the babies go? I don't know. I got distracted by the egg. Uh... Just wanted to make sure that we keep this line clear. So, good job. Park Ranger Orson out. That was a little weird. Right? For Orson, not really. They couldn't have gone far. Agreed. We're in a very modest cabin, and there's only so many places two baby dinos can hide. Like behind the incubator. On it! Orson, you're the proud, educated leader of a secret yet reputable dinosaur sanctuary. 
got this. I think we're almost ready. We did a good job. <laughs> Pteranodon, one of my favorites. They're like prehistoric pelicans. Negative, Park Ranger. Copy that. That was a little weird, right? Mm, not for Park Ranger, Maisie. <gasps> I have an idea. How about we make a trail of dino treats and then lead them into the pen? Good idea, Park Ranger. Now what? This was your idea. That's a Patinosaurus. That name means winged lizard. They're small, but they look like little dragons. Said it. Oh, now this is more like it. Yeah. No more sleeping. Stole the baby dino to welcome into our world. All right. I forgot. ETA 30 seconds, Park Rangers, and we got some big news. Uh-oh. We're almost here. Well, the good news is I got the hat back with the birthday boy badge. Didn't we have a banner? <laughs> what banner? situation. Say no more. I'll touch you put in the effort. Ooh. Delicious. 
And guess who gets their birthday badge? Do I get a park ranger achievement badge? And one more from all of us. Aww, look at the little babies. <clears throat> this is perfect. Thanks, team. Uh, thanks. For your effort, I give you the Tyrannodon Tamer Badge. How are you always so prepared? Plus, I got one more surprise. Meet our new baby Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus? Parasaurus Snuffleupagus? Uh, it's Parasaurolophus. They've got really interesting heads, with a bone that goes all the way back. Also, they're herbivores, which means they're plant eaters. Oh, he's so cute! Hey, Orson? I thought you gave the babies a bath today. It's, it's a, a long, long story. story. What's your favorite dinosaur to feed? Well, I like the Stegosaurus because it's so gentle and eats the veggies right out of your hand. Yeah. Well, how about your least favorite dinosaur to feed? Oh, I've got to say the raptors. They look at you with those claws like your dinner. Yeah, and I feel like if they ate you, they would burp after. Rude and scary. That's why I brought us here to the Ojai Raptors. Oh, raptors? It's okay, it's okay. We're going to learn. We're going to learn about raptors today and we're going to learn maybe how to take care of them. For when we go back to the T-Rex range. Okay. All right? Yeah. It's fine. Let's go. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, Park Ranger Andy. Hi. It's Park Ranger AJ. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you both. I'm Jacqueline from the Ojai Raptor Center. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're a wildlife rehabilitation facility. Specialize in wildlife, but raptors specifically. And we take in about a thousand injured, sick, and orphan raptors a year. And as wildlife rehabilitators, our main goal is to make them well again and release them back to the wild where they belong. Back into the wild? All those raptors? Out in the wild? Uh, um, yeah, birds of prey. Oh, oh right! right. Birds! birds! Of course you're of talking course. about birds, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah! We know you're not talking about dinosaurs. Yeah, That'd be ridiculous no if you're talking about dinosaurs. You can't yeah. release them out in the wild. They'd have to be in like a ranch or something. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't exist though, right? Right. So yeah, we consider owls, hawks, falcons, eagles, and vultures here. We consider all of those birds to be raptors. So actually, we're getting into our busy season here in all of wildlife rehabilitation where we receive lots of babies that have been separated from their parents. Usually their nests have been destroyed and they need to be raised by people in captivity. But we have to make sure that they maintain their natural fear of humans in order for them to be successful once we release them back to the wild. So we have to make sure they don't become too comfortable with humans or see humans as their friends or anything. So so we cover our features, we disguise ourselves, and we feed them actually with a fake owl so they never get too used to humans. Do you guys want to help me feed the orphans? Yeah, yeah. I love playing dress up. Okay, here are your suits. So you're gonna put these on because again, these are not pets, these are wild animals, and we have to make sure that the baby owls don't get used to seeing people. So we're gonna put these on to disguise our features, and then we're gonna go feed the baby owls little pieces of food because they're too young to eat by themselves. Okay. This will be easy peasy. Yeah. Okay, Ranger AJ, you look like you're all set. You got your GLA suit on. Yes. Ready to go inside the hospital and feed? Yeah. Okay, we have to make sure that we're very, very quiet when we go inside the hospital, okay? Yeah. Okay, let's go. I'll be right behind you. And I'll be really quiet. Whoa! That whole thing was amazing! And done! You missed it! I missed what? I'm all ready to go! Well, there were three baby owls, and the one on the right was really hungry, and we kept feeding them and feeding them, and the one on the left was kind of 
kind of shy, but they were all so cute. I miss it. Well, do you want to see some other birds? So some of our birds are unfortunately not releasable to the wild and we train them to become ambassadors for their species. So would you like to meet some of our non-releasable ambassador raptors? I would love to. I'd love to see yeah. something. I can't see anything. Hi, AJ. Hi, Andy. Hi. I'm Kimberly here with our ambassador brewing, Al Topper. Hi, Topper. Hi, Topper. Baby? No, actually, he's full grown. He's about seven years old. As with dinosaurs, raptors come in all shapes and sizes. And as a matter of fact, about half of the owls in North America are small owls, like Topper or even smaller. His eyes just pierce right through your soul. I know, his eyes are pretty amazing, right? All raptor eyes are pretty amazing. Amazing. I've never seen that color yellow on an eye before. And actually, some of the things in his eyes are related to why we have Topper. What do you mean? So, well, with all of our ambassadors, they can't survive in the wild. That's why they live with us as ambassadors. And Topper came to us after having a head injury, and he has some damage to his eyes as well. That's why he can't survive in the wild. So he's a owl? Yes, he is. What's that mean? Well, although we think of most birds and most owls living mostly in the sky or up high in trees, these guys spend most of their life on the ground and they actually nest underground. Although these guys are a predator like other raptors, the small raptors are both predator and prey. So basically anything big enough to hunt him, including other raptors, will hunt them. They're also endangered by dogs, feral cats, raccoons, and snakes. So they actually have a super cool way to help protect themselves from predators. When they're feeling threatened or when the babies are in the burrow and feel threatened, they actually make a sound like a rattlesnake. And that wards off most predators. And for the babies, it makes their parents come back home to protect them. So if there's a fight between the owl and a rattlesnake, who's gonna win? Well, that's a tough call. A burrowing owl couldn't actually fight off a rattlesnake the way that a red-tailed hawk or a great horned owl could catch one, but they might be able to ward it off with their snake sounds and otherwise just um, do something that's called mobbing when they fly at a potential predator to just scare it off. Are they friendly with other owls of their same kind? That's a great question. I think good. So because many of their hosts live in colonies, burrowing owls tend to also be colonial. So they can nest just with one pair, but in the past they've actually had populations of thousands of burrowing owls in one place because we had such huge colonies of prairie dogs. Is it true owls can spin their heads all the way around? Well, they can't quite spin their heads 360 degrees all the way around. However, owls and other raptors can look completely over their shoulder. So Topper can turn his head um, from looking straight at you all the way to looking over his shoulder. It's about 140 degrees. Well, Topper's getting a little tired, so I need to take him home. But Jacqueline is ready to introduce you to another of our super cool ambassador raptors. I think you're going to love it. Well, I will be glad to see it. So what's the owl thing? Who? The owl. Who? I'm asking about the owl. Who? <sighs> the owl says who? Says what? Who? What? Who? I don't get it. Good job. This is Rosie, and she is our non-releasable red-tailed hawk ambassador. Why did you guys name her Rosie? That's a good question. So we named Rosie Rosie because her beautiful red tail, that red-tailed hawks, which is her species, what they're known for. A little side note for you, red-tailed hawks don't actually get their red tail until they're about two years old or just before, once they become mature. So if you see a juvenile red-tailed hawk, they'll have a brown and tan striped tail. You know, I named my bathtub Rosie. Why'd you name your bathtub Rosie? Well, every time I don't clean it, I get a ring around the Rosie. We've had Rosie for 17 years. She came to us when she was only one years old, so she was a juvenile with a broken wing in her right wing, actually, in her shoulder. She can't fly well enough to be released to the wild, so that's why we have her. I think there's some confusion about velociraptors and raptors. Raptors are birds of prey. So it's a group of different birds that are predators and they're hunters and they have sharp hooked beaks and claw-like talons that allow them to hunt and eat other animals. So here at the Raptor Center, we consider hawks, falcons, eagles, owls, and vultures all to be raptors. So they lay eggs like dinosaurs. 
Yes, exactly. They lay eggs just like dinosaurs. Velociraptors are dinosaurs that were really small and fast that lived between 70 and 90 million years ago. And when paleontologists discovered their fossils for the first time in about the 1920s, they named them velociraptors, which that word actually translates to fast birds of prey, because anatomically or structurally, they're really similar to modern birds of prey, specifically that sharp hooked talon that velociraptors had in their hind foot. But velociraptors were always dinosaurs and raptors were always birds of prey. All birds have actually evolved from dinosaurs. So during the Cretaceous period, this is when most dinosaurs went extinct, there was a very small number of avian dinosaurs, basically bird-like dinosaurs of the theropod group of dinosaurs. So actually T-Rex was in this group, but only the small theropods survived into the almost 11,000 species of birds that we have on our planet today. Did they evolve from meat-eating dinosaurs? Yes, they did. Velociraptors were meat-eating predators like modern day birds of prey. So we only eat meat. These birds only eat meat. They cannot process anything else. So they are only able to digest raw meat. No veggies, bird after my own heart. Right, no veggies. They must be similar to dinosaurs in other ways then. Some dinosaurs supposedly had feathers. Yes. Velociraptors and theropods definitely had feathers, and they're starting to think that perhaps all dinosaurs had feathers, as a matter of fact, although none of them actually use them to fly. Like chickens. Exactly. Well, chickens can fly a little bit. Yeah, chickens can fly if they need to. Penguins. Like penguins, exactly. Yes, to keep them warm, but not really for the function of flight. So they have hollow bones, like the Allosaurus. That's a very good question, yes. So really all flighted birds have hollow bones. So larger birds that don't fly and even smaller birds like penguins, birds that don't fly have fused bones that are filled with marrow and blood just like ours. But all birds that fly have hollow or pneumatic bones and their dinosaur ancestors did as well. So thanks so much for coming today. I hope you guys learned something new. We, we learned, learned so, much. so much. Thank you for having us. Thanks. Was that a rattlesnake? Or a burrowing owl? I don't know, but I don't want to find out. Well, if we are, we're using your legs. My legs? It's not fair. Goodbye, thanks a lot. <laughs>
that dino green paint job. Slithery scales and ferocious fangs. Designed to intimidate even the fiercest of predators. But that's not all. Inside, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and cup holders. You have me in cup holders. I've also mounted the Dino Freeze Ray with onboard Invisispecs. Amazing. And now, the piece de resistance. A T-Rex Ranch air freshener. Is that pizza smell? You got it. Because who needs pine scent when you work in a forest? Mmm, pizza! And I almost forgot. One last thing. The new horn sounds like a T-Rex! What? Abracadabra, make this plant disappear! Please? Hey! Maybe you can find some inspiration at the Dino Master's gadget closet. Good idea! Ooh. Invisibility cloak? Okay, this time I, the amazing Asher, will make myself disappear. Ally Shady, Ally Kazam, make myself disappear as fast as you can. Disappear! Box, box, I called it. Shh. Holy surprise, the source, he did it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How did you do that? I practice. So I don't suppose you know anything about this invisibility cloak? Okay, I use the invisibility cloak. But isn't it cool? We can sneak around predators. Mm, they would hear us and smell us. Asher, great power comes great- Pancakes! Responsibility. Point is, I don't think you're ready for that cloak. None of us are. Bella, can you please put it away? Dino alert! Yeah, a rogue raptor snuck into Herbivore Valley. Yes! I mean, oh no! I'm just so excited to take the upgraded T-Rex 1 out for a spin! Want to be my co-pilot? Yes, please. Sam, Asher, I'll put this away, then we'll check the electric fence to see if it's intact and operational. Not only that, the back seat folds into a bed for midday naps. Oh, and I was gonna install a soda machine, but I, I Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Stop here. I think we're close. Dino alert. Yeah, sure seems like it. There it is, and it's scaring that poor stag. Hang on, I'll show that raptor something really scary. Ear goggles up, please. Ear goggles? Cover your ears. but it's headed toward HQ. Then so are we. Go for Orson. Rogue Raptor headed your way. Repeat, Rogue Raptor headed your way. Copy that. Asher, I need you to run back to HQ and get the Dino Freeze Ray. On it. Company's coming. Hmm. It's not here.
Thank you. I'll take it from here. Out. That Asher. Old scamp, it is you. Come over here! Come get me! Run! I got this. Nothing, just an angry, invisible raptor on the loose. Monday's right. Use the T-Rex when we'll draw the raptor away. <gasps> Great idea. But how do we stop a dino we can't see? But we can see him. I'll use the invisible specs to reveal the raptor, then zap him with the freeze ray. I like your style, Park Ranger. I have my moment. Do you see him? I see him. <sighs> oh! oh, just you. Thanks for saving our lives. But you know what I'm going to say next. Now, for my newest trick, I'm gonna make this coin disappear. Mecca, hey, nee, hey, make the coin go away. New coin! <laughs> <laughs> wow, that, see, that was highly entertaining, and you didn't need the invisibility cloak to do it. Hey, remember when Asher made that raptor disappear? That was awesome. That wasn't a trick. <laughs> I don't get it. Being a park ranger at T-Rex Ranch is no joke. We have big dinosaurs and small dinosaurs. We have meat-eating dinosaurs and plant-eating dinosaurs. We have dinosaurs that like to play games and dinosaurs that don't like to play games. I call them dinosaur losers. <laughs> but I'm here to teach you everything you need to know, Park Ranger Rosie. I'm so excited. Do you think I'll meet a T-Rex today? Oh, you might. And my job is to teach you everything you need to know in case that very scary situation should arise. Now, step one of Park Ranger orientation is to read the Park Ranger handbook. Got it. So let's see what this handbook has to say. It says, don't read this handbook. Listen to Park Ranger Andy. Well, if that's what the book says, that's what the book says. Now, instead of reading some boring old book, we're gonna do something fun. Gadgets. Oh, do you know what all these gadgets do? Well, of course. They don't just let any old Park Ranger teach Park Ranger orientation. What's this one do? Well, that one is, uh, I mean, it's, uh, I have no idea. Let's try it. Whoa! It's a portal blaster. Where do you think the portal goes? Uh, good question. Wait, don't do that! Relax, Park Ranger Andy. It felt like... Going into the swimming pool, but not wet. Ah, oh, poor Ranger Rosie, come back! This is awesome. I'm on another side of the ranch. You gotta try it, Park Ranger Andy. Oh, no 
way. There is no way I'm jumping through some swirly, non-wet pool portal thingy. Oh, yes, you are. Whoa. Herbivore Valley. But that's miles from the picnic area. What a convenient way to travel. I think this blaster will take us anywhere on the ramp. It's hard to tell exactly where. This portal will take us to Fossil Forest. Well, let's find out. <gasps> fossil Forest! You did it, Park Ranger Rosie. But now we really should get back to home base. I still have a lot to teach you, and my favorite part of the orientation is still coming up. What's that? Lunch! Okay, setting a course for the picnic tables. <laughs> We'll get back in time for lunch. We better, or we're gonna be somebody's lunch. We gotta find a place to hide. Why is she chasing us? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's because I forgot her birthday. Uh, I'm sorry. Like I remembered four days later, but then it was kind of awkward to say something, you know? Let's hide behind that tree. out here all day. I'm a pretty good teacher, aren't I? No, don't answer that! Ah! Use your portal blaster and send us back to home base! But what if it doesn't work? Uh, anywhere is better than here! Good point! Uh, uh. Ranger Rosie! Oh no! I thought Park Ranger Rosie was right behind me! I lost Park Ranger Rosie on her first day! This is definitely not right. My friend, Park Ranger Rosie. Oh, I know. Arexa. Yoo-hoo, Arexa. Show me Park Ranger Rosie's location. What's this? Park Ranger Rosie? It's not connected to the T-Rex Ranch Network. We're connected to Arexa in step four of the Park Ranger orientation. <gasps> Beginning to think I shouldn't have skipped the boring parts. That's weird. Why isn't the portal blaster blasting portals? Where are all these portals coming from? <gasps> Park Ranger Rosie must be sitting up from the other side. I'm coming for you, Rosie! Save my life! Uh, uh, Rexy, Rexy! 
Fetch! <laughs> oh, I can't believe that worked. Well, I knew that book would come in handy sooner or later. Focus, what do you gotta do? Oh yeah, I gotta find Park Ranger Rosie! Inverted pork switch. For when you find yourself in an upside down, inverted, or backward situation. I think that's me. Flipping the switch. Here goes nothing. Yes! Yes! I'm back! Now all I have to do is portal back to home base and meet up with Park Ranger Andy. Come on, Coral Blaster! What did I ever do to you? Ah! How am I gonna get back without the Portal Blaster? Think, Rosie, think! I got it! If I can identify what type of dinosaur is making all that noise, then I can figure out where I am on the map and get back to home base! I just hope I'm not a dinosaur that likes to eat kids. Three horns, tony fro, and loves to munch on leaves. Definitely a triceratops, which means it must be in Herbivore Valley, and home base must be that way. Ranger, I turn out to be not worthy to wear the vest, this neckerchief. In fact, I'm not worthy to wear this Park Ranger outfit at all. Sure you are, Park Ranger Andy. No. Park Ranger Rosie, where did you? How? How did I? I, I looked everywhere for you. I had a little help from the Park Ranger handbook. And while I was waiting for you, I added some new pages on the Portal Blaster. Tricky little gadget. Huh. Well, I'll be. I guess that the boring parts of training are just as important as the fun parts. You know, I'm gonna do things the official way next time. Well, in that case, can we start my orientation over? Say no more. Welcome to your first day as a T-Rex Ranch Park Ranger. Now, step one of your orientation is to read the handbook. Speaking of, where do I leave my handbook? What's with the new outfit, Park Ranger Bella? Yeah, you look different. Did you get a haircut? I'm not Park Ranger Bella. I'm Ridley Jones. Famous explorer. I got nothing. Ridley Jones is Bella's favorite new Netflix show. She lives in a museum where all the exhibits come to life. That sounds pretty cool. It is cool. Plus, she's friends with an Egyptian mummy queen, an astronaut chimpanzee, and a skateboarding dinosaur. I don't think dinosaurs skateboard. Maybe it's because they haven't tried. Good point, Park Ranger Maisie. I was thinking we could go visit our local natural history museum and investigate some exhibits, just in case. How are you going to get to the natural history museum? With my passport to adventure. Sounds like fun to me. You want to come with Park Ranger Asher? Yes. Just a few more seconds to excavate something important. There! The granola bar I dropped last week! Ew. You're gonna eat that? No! I'm gonna save it for later. Okay, Park Rangers. Let's go on a natural history museum adventure. Okay, park rangers, everybody have what they need? Sure do. Asher? What's wrong? The baby dinos. <laughs> they look so lonely. Can we bring them? Can we? No! <laughs> 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 
Bonjour. You cannot bring three baby dinosaurs into a natural history museum. That is 100% correct. And frankly, I'm surprised you would even ask, Park Ranger. Let's walk this way. Well, here we are, Park Rangers. A very special night at the museum. We could check out the Butterfly Pavilion, the Age of Mammals, the Nature Garden, or the Dinosaur Hall? Yeah. Well, then I believe we walk this way. I'm starting to think you don't like my silly walk joke very much. Uh, no, it's just a... I'm gonna go check my bag. Did you know that Velociraptor means speedy robber? How cool is that? Ooh, and now experts think that predatory dinosaurs sat on their eggs and cared for their young. Because birds are the closest living descendants of dinosaurs. So amazing. So amazing. Need some help, young man? Who, me? No, just taking a break. What are you, law enforcement or something? I'm a park ranger. Gotcha. Well, thank you for your service. Okay, bye. Park Ranger, I think we have a problem. Is that our baby T-Rex? Yep. I think somebody owes us an explanation. I can't bring three baby dinos into the museum, so I only brought one because I thought it would make it less lonely. Come, 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 look, look. A baby dino, a juvenile, and a T-Rex. He probably thinks that's his family. A very hungry family. <gasps> that's it! That's what makes the baby dino come back into my bag. Nothing comes between a baby dino and the food. Can we find him before she does? 
We have to and we will. Okay, park rangers. Operation Baby T-Rex Dino Rescue on three. One, two, three. Operation, Operation Baby Dino Dino Dinosaur Rescue. rescue. It's too complicated, it was my fault. Let's go. Why the big smile, Bella? This feels like a Ridley adventure. It sure does. Excuse me, officer, I have a quick question. Well, shoot, I love questions. Do the exhibits here ever come alive at night? <gasps> well, you might be surprised to know that... that for me. Excuse me, Ranger. You didn't see something small and stripey come in this direction, did you? <laughs> Sorry, allergies. Allergies, am I right? Okay. Just checking. Okay, goodbye. We walk this way out of the museum. Right, Park Ranger Maisie? Now you're getting it, kid. The butterflies love to surf the tail. This place is incredible. That was a close one, huh? Yeah, I think I'll leave the museum adventures to Ridley Jones from now on. What about you, Dad? I look good. Come on, Ty, we're trying to watch Ridley Jones. 